this is part two. If you haven't checked out the other part for this air reading, go check it out. Okay, Redbone keeps wanting to play for me. So I'm going to assume it's a channel song for y'all. Somebody could be a red bone light skin. Okay, I am. Okay. But anyway, let's continue on. Let's see. Whoever this is is giving their emotional player. They want to be able to have their cake and eat it too. This is what it's giving. They can have a family somewhere and want a side piece. Okay. We got the daughter of baskets in reverse. Okay, this is somebody who's very immature. They're emotionally immature they could be emotionally codependent on you so they want you to be emotionally codependent on them we got a seven of baskets they could be creating illusions have options okay with the devil card this is a toxic individual capricorn energy this is a card whoever this is they could be obsessive possessive controlling okay may have addictions okay could be codependent okay on toxic behaviors Okay, they're creating illusions, whoever this is. They're emotionally immature. Okay, don't ignore the red flags. I'm seeing red flags here. I feel like you already know this person already has a little situationship or you already know this person's toxic ways and behaviors. That's why they don't trust this person. This person might try to give you gifts and try to make you out happy and give you this whole spiel about how they want to have this happily ever after with you. But they already started happily ever after with somebody else. But they not releasing. And you already walked away from this. So why are you, don't, don't, don't let them put you in another cycle. Because it's given, this person wants to put you in another cycle. We got the Ace of Coins. You have a new opportunity coming in. It's an opportunity for growth. This could be a financial opportunity. Like I said, this person might come and actually try to give you a gift. Okay, but be mindful. It's attached to the devil. Okay, it's a karmic contract. Do you want to get in that? I don't think you want to get in that. That's a karmic contract. We got the father of knives and the mother of coins, Gemini Libra Aquarius, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, this person sees you as very nurturing and they're being strategic with you. They know you're nurturing, you're caring. Okay, like I said, this person knows that you're very giving. Okay, and with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck, this is somebody who will get in your head. This person could be dealing with some stress, some anxiety. Okay, some depression. Okay. Having sleepless nights. All right, want to take this leap of faith. This could be an older masculine. Okay, for some, this person is married. With the Emperor card, Aries energy, heavy Aries energy with the Fool's card and um, the Emperor card, okay? Somebody who was married, trying to be strategic, have their cake and eat it too, okay? We got the Page of Wands in reverse. This is somebody who's lusting over you, okay? They could be holding us back from whomever it is that they're married to, okay? With the Judgment card, I feel like you're going to have to make a Judgment card when it comes to this Scorpio energy, the Will of Fortune behind that Sagittarius energy when it comes to turning things around in your favor. I feel like you've already turned the Will of Fate around in your favor. You made a judgment call on this, okay? And this person is under judgment, okay? They could be dealing with some karma or some misfortunes. We got the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. With the Tower card in reverse. Aries and Scorpio energy. Somebody was trying to cause a tower, resist the tower, or cause somebody to miss an opportunity by causing some type of tower. Okay, this could be somebody who's at a distance from you or somebody you turned your back from. Okay. Um this was it's looking like a karmic situation, y'all. This is something that has been hidden, okay, or it's, it's hidden from you. Okay, somebody could have tried to cause some type of tower in a situation, okay. This is something that was hidden from you. It looked like somebody had some success. So somebody may have caused a tower to prevent somebody to come towards somebody. And they're recognizing this. We got the Son of Knives. Okay. The Five of Baskets and the Ten of Coins. So somebody's in deep regret. They're like and deep regret somebody's also resented somebody because they feel like they messed up a long-term plan they messed up somebody something for somebody that could be long term somebody was thinking something was long term for them and somebody came being immature and lustful could have tried to call the tower for somebody to prevent somebody from taking action towards somebody 
Okay, we got the Magician card at the bottom of the deck, Virgo Energy. Okay, this could have been a Divine Mask, and that was this was done too by Feminine Energy. We got the Judgment card, Scorpio Energy, whoever this is, they're going through an awakening. They could be going through a dark night of the soul. We got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is going to change perspective with the Hangman card, Pisces Energy. Okay, through some type of conflict, somebody could have out to cause some type of conflict, put somebody in some, some competition, could be arguing and fighting. We got the Mother of Knives, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, whoever this is, um, this could be a friend. Okay, somebody who was holding back. Okay, Now they're going to change perspective or somebody, it could be a friend of this masculine or somebody that this masculine was talking to who will told this person to hold back from you. I don't know what I did, but listen. Anyway, it's going to be somebody who's at a distance from you, okay? Or you distance yourself from this person, okay? We got the strength card. I want to land in reverse, but it came up upright. This person could have had some type of confidence issue or they were in their ego, okay? But with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, this person could be going through a heart chakra awakening or a new beginning of love. They're making plans to commit, okay? Um, whoever this is, they could watch you on like a platform, okay? They could be dealing with some court issues. For some, this person could be contemplating um, some type of divorce. With the lover's card, making a choice when it comes to love, okay? They want to balance something out. With the two of coins, feeling left out in the cold. Somebody could also be trying to um, balance out their finances, reflecting on that, how they could balance their finances. Um, someone could be sick, trying to balance out something with their health, okay? But whoever this is, they're nostalgic about you. They're stressing because they want to take a leap of faith towards you, okay? But again, like I said, this could be somebody who you've already closed a cycle out with and are moving on from emotionally detaching from and mentally moving on from whoever this is and i feel like they're gonna come in and rush in to try to give you some type of offer some type of gift some type of opportunity to possibly build something but this is somebody who already got something built with somebody else and they also could have somebody in their ear causing a tower moment to keep them to try to keep them from you this is something that's hidden you know Somebody who was passing judgment on you, but now this person is going to change perspective. Possibly that they, they shit. They had a hater in their ear. But go to part three.